Hello everyone! So it's been a long, long while since I have done a newbies or veterans. And to be honest, I completely forgot. But I wanted to come back to it because of how much I really did like doing the newbies and veterans. And I have not seen- all of this is, uh, is condensed into one PowerPoint. All my shows are here, and the only ones that are not- I haven't touched this since the last time. So all the newer things I have seen have not been added yet, but I haven't altered. Nor have I looked at it, so I am about to be surprised at what's coming next. Except for the next one, I did kind of see that one. But, um, just a quick warning that if the screen takes a little bit longer to load, it's because I didn't go through and load everything up. Just because I wanted the surprise value of everything. And, uh, we're just going to kick off from where we last left off. And if you're seeing it, seeing this for the first time, there is a part one. And how the show works is that I will go through my slides, the shows are in a random order, and tell whether I personally think it is for a newbie or for a anime veteran, and kind of give it a little bit of a summary of what it is and the rate rating so that if anyone wants to actually watch it, they can. Most of the shows on this list will be getting their own video or something like that. But for now, just enjoy a little quick summary. Hopefully you'll fall in love. So, uh, the last time we did Corpse Party. Next, Bakugan. And a lot of people will probably argue, saying how it's not anime, it's not anime. It is anime. This is. It's not like... Avatar, where it's not. This is an anime, and it's one of my favorites, and it's definitely rated PG, and it's about a bunch of kids finding Bakugan and battling each other. So it's kind of like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like one of those shows, but I am more interested in this one than Yu-Gi-Oh! And Beyblade. Next. Ah! NO.6! Oh, my babies. I love it. So, uh, if you haven't noticed, I tried to make this a serious video. <laughs> but, um, uh, man. I would say NO.6 is made for, uh, PG-13 to, uh, TV-14, because of the content that is in, um, the show, and, oh, uh, sorry, uh, Bakugan, definitely for, uh, newbies, um, at 0 0.6, I do believe it can be for newbies, because the concept is very simple, and, the simple themes, easy to follow story, and the relatable characters. Of course, it does struggle with some of the bigger themes, just like including romance and family and things like that, but it doesn't mean that it's that bad that anyone will not understand it. Uh, it's basically about a boy who, uh, when he was younger, helps a inmate escape the law and, like, helps him get, uh, keeps him for a night. And then they grow up, they see each other again, and the secret about the town is revealed. You know what, I might not do the whole summary thing. Hopefully, if you find it interesting, you'll look it up. <laughs> ah! Skip beat. I had such a problem with this. Uh, it's, it's for newbies. 
absolutely for newbies. Uh, very, very simple to follow. Uh, music, revenge story that's not really that revengey. And, oh yeah, uh, a sucky end. Sorry, I, I just have a big problem with the series, and I just don't, I don't know what to say. But it is for newbies, if you want to start something off. It is a good show that can help you get off the ground into the world of anime. But, once you're in it, I would say, don't do this. Just back off. Hunter x Hunter. Okay. So, I didn't know I add, I put this in. Uh, this slide will probably be a little bit longer than all the other ones. Because one I put the show in was probably when I was in season one. And I didn't even finish season one yet. And now... I'm actually in season three. Three. And, um, I know it's, I've been taking my goddamn sweet time with this show. Sorry about that. Um, but Hunter x Hunter, in my opinion, I'm talking about the 2011 version of Hunter x Hunter. I believe that it is a good show for newbies to get into. And... Because anyone who likes action will definitely have fun with this show. Comedy, action, heart-wrenching moments. And I I love the characters of this show. And I do not think I have a character in this show that I don't like. As far as I know, I might not have one. Or I might have one. I can't remember. But either way, newbie, newbie, newbie. Please check it out. And it is rated, in my opinion, TV-14. <laughs> Baka to test to Shokanju. I think I messed up on that one. I think the title is for the second season. I'm not too sure. I tried. Leave me alone. Anyway, uh, this is absolutely for newbies. It's apart from the last few. I'm already, I'm kind of already forgetting what the last few were, but this is a very, very comedic show. Very laid back. Very cutesy. The art style, I love the colors. I know it's a little bit hard to see. There we are. It's a very colorful show. So, newbies will just dive right into it, and you'll get a lot of the anime tropes right off the bat. So, you won't have to feel like, oh, well, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, here's something funny. You're, this show actually does help someone learn about some of the anime tropes in the anime community. So that when they go looking in another show, they're not bewildered and shocked. So, definitely a newbie show. Okay, Naruto the original. Absolutely a newbie. So I know, we haven't really gotten a veteran show yet. I don't think so. Uh, unless one of the first ones is. Um, this is PG-13 right off the bat. Uh, ninjas. And this is one of my very first shows. Uh, note that I actually did... This is probably the first big series that I dived myself into, apart from Pokemon. Uh, I... Very... Yeah, again, easy to understand. Very funny, but also has very heart-wrenching moments. So, if... Even if you can't get through all of the Naruto franchise, at least the Naruto, the original... Along with Shippuden, which will probably come up sometime in the future, are for newbies. Pupa. Okay. Uh, Pupa, 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 Pupa. Um, veterans. Veteran. Because of the fact that, sure, I, I will absolutely go with, it can be a newbie show, 
for the horror element, but as something to start you off into the anime community, I think that this show will absolutely, oops, sorry, uh, Mary, I didn't mean to make it that dark, but it'll work, um, it will definitely make you question a lot of things, a lot of things, and it'll give you the wrong idea about how anime is because of how poorly this show was. It was so badly adapted from the original content that it is supposed to be, which is supposed to be a great series. I haven't read read any of it yet. It's on my list. But as far as something like that goes, it's for the veterans who is who are willing to go through it, listen to the story, all that. But if you want to try anime, you like horror, newbie. That is the only condition. If you want to try anime, if you like horror, you don't know what the hell you're doing. Pupa, newbie. Hamtaro, how? Okay, I don't understand how I went from Pupa to Hamtaro. But, uh, Hamtaro, there is no way this is not for newbies. They is adorable hamsters. Absolutely adorable. I grew up with him, Taro. Uh, so, it's definitely PG. Or G, actually. Why am I going PG? It's G. Nothing wrong with cute, tiny hamsters. Say I Love You is one of those shows that you can argue for both. Where... In my opinion, newbie. Because it's the romance it's so well played out and it's I keep I don't wanna say it again, but it's a laid back show and every element of this show is not to the extreme. There isn't anything that you can't understand. So, anyone who doesn't understand anime, but they like romance, they'll get hooked onto this immediately. And even the dub is good. I saw this in sub, and I saw episodes in dubbed. Both are fantastic. So, this can be made for anybody. So, definitely, if you want a start into the world of anime in the romance category, Say I Love You is it. Fairy tale. Oh man. Okay. Um. Fairy tale is definitely a show that is for newbies because this is after finding out what anime was and discovering that I've been watching anime without even knowing it. This I think is the first show that I actually started after finding out what anime was, and became my favorite anime when I was younger. And now, seeing it where it is, and all the years that passed, I cannot fathom myself starring it now. As a veteran of anime, I cannot fathom myself doing it. So, this is definitely something that you need to start when you start anime, or in the anime community, because it'll just be easier to keep up with it. And you kind of don't feel like you need the pressure. Because there are some shows that you, that people will put pressure on you to watch. I'm not going to lie, I do that with other people as well. And if... You're telling people who are fans of fairy tale, and you you guys are both veterans. They will push on you to do it, but if you're a newbie, they'll probably be more considerate. So this is definitely a newbie show. Sorry if I'm like slurring a tiny a tiny tiny bit. I'm just talking. I'm just excited about some of the shows. Guac and Alice. 
Um, I would say this. It's not one of the oldest series on this list. It's definitely like in the two thousands. Um, and you you can say, oh, look at the cutesy art style and all of that. My problem is that because of how old the show is, and also how. Uh, the manga and the anime work together. That's where I'm having a bit of an issue with putting it in a category. Because one glance, newbies, look at the adorable animation, blah blah blah. Knowing the story, how popular it is, then seeing the man manga, the manga and anime side by side, I want to say Varen. Because this show is, as far as I know, it's not well known. So this is a type of show, or this is a show that you kind of have to dig deep for and find it and kind of like pull it out of a hole and be like, oh, I have a gem. And newbies aren't going to be the type of people that do that. If they are, that's fantastic because they're willing to try all new things. But the majority will not do it. Um, so, that's why I gotta say veteran. Just because it's probably something a newbie wouldn't watch in this era today first. Uh, Gekin Shoujo Natsaki-kun? Natsaki-kun? Or, uh, if I know the English correctly, uh... Weekly Girl. Um. Dozaki Kun. Um. It is a newbie show. And it, it's one of the more recent shows on this list. And. The lovable characters. The. Uh. Easy to understand setup. And. Um. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of, uh, lost here for a second. Um, it's not a complex show. It really isn't. Uh, oh god. It's, I don't know why it's hard to defend this as a... Newbie, to me it just is. It's, uh... Sorry, I had to pause it for a second. Um, it's hard, it's hard for me. Because, as a veteran, I see something cute. Romance. All that. Gotta get into it. Fast. And, I did. And, the humor is relatable. The characters aren't... The main character is actually very relatable to me. Uh, but the other characters are kind of eh. So, but as something as... The bright colors will draw more people in. How about that? Princess Jellyfish. Uh... I am sorry, that is a hiccup, I promise. Um, as... How I want to describe Princess Jellyfish is it's made for the older woman. Or women. Older women. And I feel that it is definitely a veteran show. Because it's made for the older audiences than what anime is normally for. So, as some... As being, uh, as targeting towards the older audiences, uh, people will, people will then kind of push it off to the side and not really realize how magical the show is. And it reminds me, it's like an older version of Oron, if anything. 
So, as Oron is definitely a newbie, the counterpart for veteran would be Princess Jellyfish, if you can understand that. Megan Above, one of my favorite shows of all time. A absolute veteran show. Because this show is, was actually kind of hard to even get to audiences. Because, and to fan bases. Because it is about a glasses club. But they have gorgeous boys in it. So people are going to watch it. And help me. But I did it more for the glasses. <laughs> um, and because of certain topics like that. People will get thrown off. And it's. It would be harder for a newbie to understand. Why, why was that so popular? Why did people want to do that? And also the show has a lot of references that. Probably, probably some of the older audiences might actually understand a little bit more than the younger teens because of what we grew up on. Shugo Chara. It is a show that people need to give a chance to, but um, it is definitely a show that is for newbies. Because it's a magical girl show that, like, Cart Captors is for newbies. And I absolutely don't, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know how I'm feeling today. But, um, blah, blah, blah. it is a magical, magical girl anime and, like, Cart Captors, it helps really set the set the stage for magical girl shows that go with transformations, different character setup, different powers, and a goal. So it is, in my opinion, a show that definitely helps set up the trope of that. Uh, Kaicho wa Made Sama. This is a very popular show in the anime community. Uh, definitely a newbie show. Because it has a weird, strange twist and romance that a lot of people would like to see uh, off the bat. And very sa uh, sadistic characters and interesting dialogue. Overall, it's a show that because of how popular it is in the community, people will immediately be drawn to it. And it's not really that inappropriate, it's high school. Yumi Neko no Naku Koro ni. Uh, I am not sure, I don't think, that the other show, that the, the company who did Yumi Neko no Naku Koro ni, did Higurashi, which is a very, very popular show in the anime community of horror, and, uh, yeah, again, in horror, Higurashi would be considered for newbies, as a show in general it is for veterans, because of the gore level and all the horror, but, yeah, again, if you want horror, Higurashi, there you go. If you can't handle that, you can't handle all the other shows. But like the Oron Princess Jellyfish comparison, Higurashi is the new uh, newbie comparison to this, which is for veterans. They're basically kind of set up the same way, just a different storyline, but they do repeat like both of them do. And it's, they're both very interesting. So definitely rated R veteran, if you have seen Higurashi, and if you like Higurashi, you're going to like this. Probably except for the ending, because that's the only thing I did not like. Inuyasha. Uh, this, uh, this show is also, along with Naruto, one of the first ones that I have seen, and it is for newbies. I'll, I'll give it for newbies. Because I was able to enjoy it, and thinking back on that, if I didn't do it then, I would have not done it now. Just because of the concept of it, 
And because when you're new, you tend to have to be more free with what you want to watch. Then you're going to be willing to try new things. So I definitely think that this was a newbie show. Wamushi Petal, uh, this is the last one for this video, or this one, uh, but I have made a lot of things with this show before of how it's definitely for, um, veterans, no, not veterans, newbies, I'm sorry, who are looking to try out sports. Uh, it entails cycling. And it's way more dramatic than you think it is, because this is one of the only shows that I've actually have cried in public for while watching it on multiple occasions. And one of the shows that I will go back and rewatch anytime. I love the show to death, and I cannot, cannot wait until I am able to complete the second season because then